What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Linux on Raspberry Pi. For this video, I'm going to be installing Ubuntu on Raspberry Pi. So what we need to do, we need to open the internet browser and we need to go to this website and then I'll put link in the description below and we'll need to download Raspberry Pi Imager for Windows. If you're using Mac or maybe Linux, Ubuntu, you can use one of those, but I'm just going to download for Windows. And then in here, just click save. Once the download is complete, navigate to your download or run it from here. And in here, just click yes. And now we can minimize this window. And right here, we just have to go through the installation process. Click on install. And that's it. It's done. You can click on finish and you can leave check mark run Raspberry Pi imager. Make sure your micro SD card is plugged in into your computer. And right here at the screen, we need to choose operation system. So you can click on choose OS. And right here, you have multiple options. You have Raspberry Pi OS. Then you have uh, Kodi. You have Ubuntu Retro Pi. Then there is Debian. You can format your SD card. And also you can use, you can click on use custom and choose image from your computer if you have already downloaded. But for this video tutorial, I'm going to click on Ubuntu. And right here, I'm going to choose this top one right here, Ubuntu 20.04.1. And this one is going to work with Raspberry Pi 2, 3, and 4. Click on it. And then right here, choose SD card. And then this is the one that I have already inserted into my computer. And then right here, we just have to click on write. And this message basically stating that all data will be erased. If you don't have anything important on there, just click on yes. And now we just have to wait until it's going to download and write Ubuntu to micro SD card. This process could take up to 20 to 30 minutes, depends on your computer and your internet speed. Once the process is complete, just click on continue and you can close this program and now navigate to your file explorer, this PC and eject your drive. Now, Plug in your micro SD card in your Raspberry Pi. Now go ahead, turn your Raspberry Pi on. In here, we need to log into our Ubuntu username by default. It's going to be Ubuntu and then press enter. And your password is also going to be by default Ubuntu. Once you log in, it's going to ask you to change your password. You'll have to confirm your password again. And then set up a new password. And then confirm. And that's it. You have Ubuntu installed on your Raspberry Pi. But the next question you're going to ask me, where is the graphical user interface? I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So first thing we have to make sure our Raspberry Pi is connected to the internet. I'm connected through the hardwire. Then we need to type following command. It's going to be sudo app get install update. And I will put all commands in the description below and then press enter. And it's going to install all the updates. So that way your Ubuntu is going to be up to date. Once this is done, we need to reboot our system. So just type sudo reboot. By some reason, my system aired out, but I'm still going to reboot the system. Once your system reboots, we need to log back in, use your username Ubuntu, and then password the one you just created. And now we need to type command sudo app get install Ubuntu desktop. And if you do that, then it's going to install Ubuntu experience. You can also do Zubuntu desktop and you can do Kubuntu and Lubuntu desktop. And I will put all commands in the description below. So sudo app hyphen get install Ubuntu hyphen desktop and then press enter. And in here, it's going to ask you if you'd like to continue. Type Y and press enter. 
and that's it it's gonna start downloading ubuntu graphical user interface experience and this process could take a while Okay, once the installation is complete, right here, we need to type start X and then press enter. And this is gonna load graphical user interface of Ubuntu. Once it's loaded into the graphical user interface, so right here, you can just go through next, 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 and then next. And that's it, start using Ubuntu. And right here, if you click on activities, you're going to be able to see all your apps. And then if you click on this app, it's going to bring up entire app menu. And right here, you can get to all of your Ubuntu apps. Once you're done using, what you can do, you can click on this power button and you can click on shut down, power off or log off. What I'm going to do, I'm going to click on power off. And right here, I'm going to restart the system. And as you can see, after Raspberry Pi reboot, it boots into the graphical user interface. So you don't have to, on a startup, type start X again. It's just gonna boot into the graphical user interface automatically. This is basically it. If this video was helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.